Hello everybody and thank you for joining us, the Monsters of Gaming. I'm Kaiju Kane, with me here is Juggernaut Jared, and we're starting a new series today. A series of a, a, a series of showing off different characters from the game Perfect Heist. This is an amazing game, me, Juggernaut, and the rest of the gang love playing it. But I noticed that when I went online and searched, there was no little walkthroughs or anything of these characters. So, we're going to start off. Uh, so our first character here is the Heavy. The Heavy is a Breach class, which means he specializes in getting into the uh, vaults. He has the rescue signal, which will call in a rescue helicopter to your location. Um, I like using it to get my ammunition and everything back, or to put a little bit of money in. And he has a flak jacket, which means he takes far less damage from explosives and fall damage. Ready, Jug? Yes, I am. Let's get this started. Okay, I'm ready. And so as you can see, they don't have any special costumes on them. Um, now, if we if we, we set this off with some, with some light cops, there's uh, three easy cops here. But if you bring out your rocket launcher... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> Juggernaut, I have been found out by the cops. I don't know how it happened. I can't figure it out. <clears throat> Maybe if I actually had my rocket launcher equipped. And I died. It's okay. It was bound to happen. <laughs> okay, let's, let's not do this. Let's not do this again. All right. Okay, so anyways. I took out two of the cops. Oh, no. That means you're dead. There's the rocket launcher. Nice. That means you're dead, dead, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyways. So why aren't you letting me get my freaking rocket launcher out game? Come on. Press 2. Press 2? I did press two. Not press question mark. It's not. It's not like bring out my rocket launcher. Huh. Well, that's a glitch that that I see. That's an interesting glitch because we've never had that glitch. We'll try it out again then. All right. Okay. So team robbers. We're not gonna use any cops this time. We'll just throw in this class real quick. Sorry about this, folks. Ready, willing, and able. Okay, so if I press Q, oh, there seems to be there seems to be a glitch in the game where we can't do this class. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now that I have this series of rocket launcher out, let's try this again. As you can see, when you break out the rocket launcher, you'll start seeing little red X's on the walls. These are points of entry where you can use the rocket launcher to blow a hole in the wall. Juggernaut, would you like to... Hold on. Hold on. Turn toward me. I'm, I am torn towards you. <laughs> I'm looking right at you. Wow. Turn, turn so you're facing the bank. Boink. That is the wimpiest looking rocket launcher I've ever seen. Yeah, but it does this. Yeah. Now, of course, the rocket launcher has, has only a few rounds in it, but it's very useful for getting into the banks. Now, of course, this is the basic bank that you start off with. Um, all the banks are free. Um, you wouldn't normally be holding this out. The cops would be all over you, but you can use this to, uh... Oh, well, he, he deserved to die, I'm guessing. It takes two shots with the rocket launcher to get through the door. Of course, you can grab all your goodies and everything. Now, I'm using what I think is my favorite helmet to go with this class. This is the, uh, cowboy mask, real quick. What the cowboy mask does is as long as you're in an area with the red carpeting, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that I have one out of one rocket launchers. As long as I'm wearing this little hat here... I think it's every 30 seconds, I believe. I'm not 100% on it, but every 30 seconds, as long as you keep this... Yes, Jug. <laughs> He's having fun with the wrong... Yeah, there you go. So you get more ammunition back, so you can actually blow up more faults and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, this is I, actually... I was, I was trying to see if I could get that red X from the wall. Ah. I mean, I... Now, of course... You can use this for lots of fun things, distracting the cops, blowing holes in the walls and everything. But you can also use it to get on certain maps and get into uh, other locations where you normally couldn't. Like the cowboy in front of me. Hey, cowboy. And of course, we're not we're not optimized to this, so like once again, this is just to show off what they're capable of. Um, and of course, once you blow up in a vault or three, uh, you know, then you're gonna go and of course go. Grab some goods, so let's go rob let's go rob the place real quick, Jug. So yeah. 
grab the money. One, one other thing that you cannot do if there are cops, or else they will find you, is run. Oh yeah, well, this isn't a guide on how to play the game. <laughs> now, usually when you yeah. pick up the, usually when you pick up the money, you go run over there. We are not, we are not entitled to for that. We are not that good. <laughs> what you can do is you can press the X button. That will drop a little flare, and then. Now, what makes this really cool is if Juggernaut goes and runs somewhere else on the map, like far, far, far away. You know, behind some buildings or something. I'll just show you an example. I'm just going to go run up and drop my money off. Jug, don't you drop your money off yet? I don't have any money. Oh, well, go grab, let's go grab some. Yeah, and don't don't run through these if you're carrying a rocket launcher. It's probably a bad sign. There you go, buddy. Thank while, you. While he's looting the goods, this is probably my second favorite of the uh, the breach class. This class here. Uh, we'll be getting to our favorite in the next video, uh, which is Juggernaut's primary. He, he loves the next class. Um, oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, that's cool. that one. The game's not expensive. The game's actually quite cheap, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, if these videos do well, and you want to see a how to play guide, we'll do a how to play the guide. But check it out. Let's go for a walk, shall we? That's something I like to do with the helicopter because it really throws off cops. It's early on in the game before I even enter the the building, and I don't know if any of the others know about me doing this or if they've ever caught me doing this. I like to run way over here, way back in the back. And then, if I throw a flare, where's the juggernaut? I'm right here. Oh, geez, there you are, buddy. So usually the helicopter spawns up there. And since they're paying attention to the front, waiting for people to come in, because that's usually the, the guy, you usually wait at the front desk for to see if people will come in. So what you can do is you can just drop the helicopter off somewhere back here where they don't look. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. And then Juggernaut can go and run and drop his money off. That came down fast. Yep. Now, the secondary for this class is kind of... Eh. I'm not a fan of the shotguns in this game because they're just... Well, I mean... Here's the sound. Ready, guys? Just... That's that's how fast I'm clicking the mouse. That's how long. It has a very low rate of fire. And most of the time, higher level cops like the mediums. Oh, man, the mediums. Nice nice, nice skin, by the way. On the gun. Thanks. On the firearm. Um, most of the time, the, uh, the cops will just straight up murder you long before you can kill them. Especially the medium and high level cops. Or if somebody's smart enough to play as the firefighter, which we'll get to on another video, they'll do it too. Now, there's no limit to how far this rescue helicopter can go either. The rescue helicopter can go clear across the map if you want. Um, so, uh, I mean, you know, Jug, what would you say the, is your feelings on this particular class? It has its, it has its uh, pros and its cons. I think the... For a basic starter character, I think it it's good. Uh, I mean, if you if you haven't played it before, I think it would be a good good character. I mean, would we, you do, would you do but, would you do anything to change it, or is this how you how you feel the, the it should it feels right to you? I think it feels right. Now my, I mean, I mean, maybe instead of two shots to get through the door, one shot with the rocket launcher. I mean, yeah, that could be very nice. You know, pardon me, sir. So shotgun, you know. It's a it's a doom shotgun, so it's basically a sniper shotgun. You can hit people from across the map. I mean, that is a plus side, but once again, the the rate of fire is what really turns it. And with the rocket launcher, you can you can kill civilians with the rocket launcher if you want. But it will not immediately kill cops. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I, I, don't ask me how, don't ask me why. 
But for some strange reason, this overpowered rocket launcher here, which can one hit... You, can, you could rocket jump with it too, by the way. If, if you're fans of TF2, this is basically the soldier. Um, <laughs> you can just run around and just shoot at the ground and just fire yourself up in the ceilings and stuff like that. I haven't really pulled that off on anybody uh, in uh, the actual group yet because <laughs> they, they might not appreciate my uh, my TF2 skills. But, uh, yeah, just like that, if you're just wearing the, ha wearing the mask, the cowboy hat is called, you can just kind of just chill out, relax, and then... Uh, Oh, my, hey Jared, my chopper's here. I'll, I'll, be, I'll see you later, man. You can just, well, I didn't pull it off properly, but you, know, you can just shoot yourself to the roof. But uh, this is the, uh, was this the heavy? Yes. Yeah, that's right, the heavy. Um, thank you for joining us. We're going to be doing this whole series. Uh, we're going to go through all the characters, and we'll be putting up one, uh, two at a time, we'll be putting up one police officer, and we'll be putting up one uh, thief each time. But uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, hopefully we will see you in the next one. Peace.